what's up with Argentina and Bitcoin. Argentina's recent move to implement a registry of virtual asset service providers has caused quite a stir among crypto enthusiasts. The new law requires platforms and individuals who buy, sell, send, or trade cryptocurrencies to register with the government. This news comes as a surprise, especially after El Salvador made headlines for embracing Bitcoin as legal tender. Uh, President Javier Malay, known for his libertarian views, has been a vocal advocate for Bitcoin in the past. However, it seems his stance has shifted since taking office. Some of these costs are speculating that this change of heart may be due to pressure from international organizations or a lack of understanding of the technology and the impact of the new regulation is already being felt. With popular payment app strike uh, announcing that it will no longer support the same globally function between Argentina and the U.S. Other exchanges may follow suit, leaving Argentinians with limited options for buying and selling cryptocurrencies. Uh, not everyone sees this development as a negative, though. Uh, some argue that increased regulation could attract more foreign investment and stabilize the country's economy. After all, Argentina has struggled for with high inflation rates in the past, and the introduction of a VASP registry could help combat money laundering and other illicit activities. It's worth noting that this move doesn't necessarily mean Argentina is turning its back on Bitcoin completely. In fact, the country's monthly inflation rate has decreased significantly since Millet and took office, which could indicate a positive trend towards economic stability. Only time will tell how this plays out for Argentina and its relationship with cryptocurrency. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time.